Third. As a, which outing is this now? This is the third or fourth? I went out twice yesterday. Twice. So and that was third and fourth. Twice here, so it'd be a fifth. Fifth outing. Okay. In how many days now? Three. Three days. So yeah, it's a pretty short development. <laughs> but I think that's the uh, the advantage too of keeping something keeping it really simple. Yeah, I think I built that first model in a day. Like, I spent a couple hours on at the night before, and then probably three or four the next day to mm -hmm. get the first one. And then uh, came here, tested it, failed in every aspect, but learned a lot. Yep. And made some changes, moved the fan back, changed the control surfaces. That helped a lot. It was somewhat flyable then. Uh, went back, moved the fan back a little bit more, made a few more changes, got better control, you know, bigger rudders, stuff like that. Yep. And now it's a lot better. Cool. So. I think that's one of the two things you got going for you, too, on this one, because this is still the original airframe, right? Yeah. This combination is simple, and it's also EPP, yeah. so you can <laughs> make modifications easy to do. Yep. Have you weighed the model, Mike? Um, last time I weighed it, it was around 14 or 15 ounces. Oh, yeah, wow. That's pretty good for that size. Yeah. It's really good. And you, you said the lift fan's only at 60%? Yeah. I can try 100 real quick. Yeah. Or maybe just go up. I don't know if it makes part way up. Though, because once you get slow, it just doesn't have any control for it. <coughs> oh, that is 100%. Okay, that's 60%. The whole time I was doing 100%. Okay. There's Very nice. Good job, Mike. Sweet. Thank you. Sweet. I'm happy with it. Yeah, cool. Up here, but I'd yeah. have to change a whole bunch. Yeah, you would. So, but that would give me some flow over the vertical. Yeah, that's the idea I was going to share with you too. I think if you did move the pusher up, so it's true prop and slot. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it give you good rudder control, everything. Right. Yeah. And then go two lift fans, one in the back, one in the front, <laughs> counter rotating. Yeah. There you so go. they're balanced. Yeah, that'd be true. Yep. That that I think you could do VTOL. Yes, you probably could. Because you'd, you'd be balanced, no no torque effects, because it'd be kind of rotating right. lift fans, and then lots of control for pitch, yaw, and roll, so. Right, yeah, you should, yeah. Well, just put a gyro between the two of them so that it keeps I don't it. think you need it, because with that prop and slot, you'd have plenty of pitch authority. You'd have authority, but you'd have to have the power on. Yeah. You couldn't really but do But if you be tall, you don't, you're not yeah. really pushing. No, okay. Now, here's the other thing, too. is The, the lift fans are, are pointed slightly forward, so they're giving you back thrust. 
try to push okay. you backwards so that you have a little bit of forward thrust on your oh, I see. forward fan. Can interact with that. Right. Well, and you could, the, the, yeah. the pusher fan, you could turn on real slow yeah. so that you have some movement there, but just not a lot. That's what I'm saying. So a little bit of pusher fan, right? And then just and then the lift fan's pushing you backwards a little bit so that you, you oh, actually okay. counter it. Counter it. So you actually just sit in one spot. So you could do a level takeoff. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is that both? Both fans? Both, yeah. Okay. I'm just backing down on the pusher thing. It needs it. Now the lift fan is just on off? Yeah. point where it gets too slow and it just you don't have enough starts to air flow for control yeah. right and it'll want to yaw <coughs> but i'd say that's pretty slow for yep now can you go do you have enough power to go back to, to thrust only just to see the difference yeah. 